Welcome to Macau. Most people know this city as a gambling capital or the Las Vegas of the East. But there's so much more than throwing the dice here in this city. A lot of authenticity comes from Portugal or from their neighboring city of Hong Kong, which is just a short one hour ferry ride away. So now that we're here, we're going to show you all that this city has to offer. Check it out. I'm so high that the sky is beneath and will Behind me is one of the most visited landmarks here in Macau. These are the ruins of St. Paul's Cathedral, and the facade is all that remains after the rest of it was burnt down in a fire. This dates back to the 15th century, a time when this area witnessed the encounter between China and the West for the first time. So with all of that history, what a perfect place for Ultra to hold an event and make some new history. Every night it's like it's do or die. We don't care about it so Cubic right now. I'm with Dubs right now, who is fresh off the stage here at Ultra Macau. How was it, guys? You're all smiles right now. It was danky as shit. It was a really fun time, man. The crowd was really enjoying the show, and I felt like, you know, it's something really new in Macau, and it felt really privileged to come and share our music with everyone. It was, it was really fun. So you guys tour all around the world. You've seen fans and audiences. What makes your fans in Asia different from fans around the globe? I could say that our Asian fans are like some of the most loyal fans. I've, I've never seen people at every single airport, train station, you know, hotel, they show up before we arrive. What do you see for the future of the Asian market with EDM? From what I hear from people like telling me where Ultra is spreading, where other festivals are spreading, it doesn't look like it's slowing down at all. I mean, it's just beginning right now, so I'm really eager to see, um, you know, what Macau brings. <laughs> 